Kenny family, thank you so much. I, I, I told one of James's brothers, I knew James for 24 years. I said I bartended for his Uncle Pat and worked in uh, Kenny's Cafe on West 43rd Street. And that's where James and I met. And we got along the minute we met. And we, James had grown up in the bar business, working in it because his uncle owned places. And as a kid, I started bartending when I was 18 years old. So we knew the business. I always said about the bar business, it makes you older and younger. <laughs> At both times, both ways. But James was, uh, was a true friend then. Uh, and when I went to the service, that you have had a beautiful service for James, I saw the things I already knew, but it was really beautiful, how much he loved children, you know, and his nieces and nephews, and they came up, and I, I just, he always, he met my son when he was one, and my daughter when he was three and a half, she was three and a half, uh, they're 24 and 27, he always asked me how my kids were, and I showed him pictures, and he would say, what are they doing, what is it, he always, he loved children, and it really shows his heart, and he loved his family, his nieces and nephews, and he also loved Ireland. Yeah. And he loved Ireland. So the last thing you see, and I have to, I have to. And he was there. He brought the rock from uh, from his home town. I don't which I forget the town. It was a Mayo. A Mayo. Okay. Sorry about that. A Mayo. He was very proud of County there. But uh, he loved Ireland. And there's an expression in Ireland which is a beautiful one. And I read a couple of things. An expression is called a kara and a kara means soulful friend. And I think it fits James, as everybody here has said. According to Celtic spiritual tradition, the soul shines all around the body like a luminous cloud. When you are very open, appreciative, and trusting with another person, your two souls flow together. This deeply felt bond with another person means you have found your anankara, or soul friend. Your Anand Kara always beholds your light and beauty and accepts you for who you are, truly are. When you are blessed with Anand Kara, the Irish believe you have arrived at the most sacred place, home. And we've all found our sacred place and we've all found our sacred friend. And James, to all of us, I know, I speak for everyone, I don't know James is our Anankara. He certainly accepted everyone and loved everyone. And I'll leave you with this final prayer. And it's not a depressing prayer, but it's a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Death is nothing at all. It does not count. I have only slipped away into the next room. Everything remains as it was. The old life that we lived so fondly together is untouched, unchanged. Whatever we were to each other, that we are still. Call me by the old familiar name. Speak of me in the easy way which you always use. Put no sorrow in your tone. Laugh as we always laughed at the little jokes that we enjoyed together. Play, smile, think of me, pray for me. Let my name be ever the household world that always was. Let it be spoken without effort. Life means all that it ever meant and it is the same that it ever was. Theme is unbroken con continuity. Why should I be out of mind because I'm out of, I am out of sight? I am but waiting for you in an, eternal, in an interval somewhere very near, just around the corner. All is well, nothing is hurt, nothing is lost. One brief moment and all will be as it was before. How we shall laugh at the trouble of parting when we meet again. Thank you very much. <laughs>